Podcasts. Rob Sanders. Some would be entertained by it. Some would be horrified by Kale it. Kale Carolina Jackpot Hall. All would be interested in it. The Rob and Kale Podcasts. Let's go. Welcome in to the Rob and Kale Podcast. I'm Rob Sanders. I'm having this evening. Sporting my chef's hat in honor of a big man, Schiffler. He's going to be dancing in California tomorrow night. 
Yeah, buddy. My podcast uh, partner is in the upstate. He wishes he had a chef's hat. He is Mr. What? Uh, uh, what uh, uh, I, I missed. I missed the first part. What is the? What's the meaning of that? So the reason that that all the students at Clemson and the fans up there wear the chef's hat is in honor of Ian Schiffler, the Tiger big man who can do it all. Most improved player in the conference. So it's I an thought, honor. I, I thought that's. I thought uh, um, that's why they wore the uh, the the rainbow covered home depot <clears throat> overalls. Well, I don't. I mean, you know, I'm I'm here to correct you because then you know if I don't. Let, let me ask you this: Does Ship does does he even like you? Um, you know, because you you hate his coach and <clears throat> you, I do you hate, hate his coach. You hate the team, so uh, no, 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 sir, no, sir. That that's a narrative yeah. that you and an operative from Russia has tried to uh, implement with some people, uh, uh, and that is yeah. not true. That's a narrative. <clears throat> I always support the team. I don't like the coach for the fact that he is not consistent. Let's make yeah, sure we put he's, it he's been pretty consistently good this year, wouldn't you say? Yeah, he's, been, he's been good this year. He's been yeah. good this year. The point is you have to be consistent over time. You can't have a year where you go out and you go to the Sweet 16, then next year you lose to Moorhead State in the NIT. That's not consistency, sir. So I mean, well, I mean, it's a it's a talent issue. He does he doesn't always have it. Though. Yeah, doesn't always have the talent there. He's recruiting against. All right. Um, well, would you let's put you on the spot then, since you're defending Brad Brownell? Would you rather have Brad Brownell or Lamont Paris right now? Um, I would rather have the coach that we have. I mean, but I mean, <laughs> if we didn't have him, I'd rather have him. I'd rather have him than Frank Martin. Well. <clears throat> I, I, have, uh, I, gotta, I gotta get him. I gotta get a piece of mail away from this fucking pug. What are you doing, you shithead? <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Uh, is that is that Wheezy? Yeah, she she gets into everything, man. I'm telling you, if it's not nailed not down, nailed down dog, this dog this is into dog. it. Well, anyway. <clears throat> Clemson plays in the NIT tomorrow. I'm not the NIT, the NCAA Sweet 16 tomorrow. Uh, big time jacked about it. I, I think that Arizona has the better team. Yeah, but they're, they're going to take that. They're going to take that chef's hat and shove it where the they're going. They're going to wrap it. They're going. <clears throat> they're going to wrap a cat. Wrap it around a cactus and stick it where the sun don't shine. Ah. <sighs> Well, we're all Arizona fans tomorrow. A victory for Arizona is a victory for America. I expect that from you. What time is the game? It's the early one. It's seven o'clock. Where is it being played at? Uh, it's in Los Angeles. Oh God, they got the home court advantage too. Wow. Wait a minute. Los Angeles is not in Arizona, sir. Well, it's right next door. <laughs> okay. It, it, well, okay. What, what's closer, Arizona to Tucson, <clears throat> Arizona to Los Angeles, or Los Angeles to fucking uh, Turdville, South Carolina? Well, Clemson Maybe. is America's team, so theoretically, theoretically, sir, uh, well, everywhere is Clemson's home court advantage. So I needs to give America it's, to it's, uh, it's, it's, people it's, see that give, Tiger give America to Israel or something if that's the case. Seven oh nine is game time. Thank you, Beth. People see the Tiger Paw, they know an ass whooping's coming. That's generally the way it is. Yeah. What, the LSU Tiger Paw? LSU <clears throat> <laughs> doesn't have a Tiger Paw. The, the Blue Ridge High Tiger Paw? <laughs> I know I know they hurt your feelings. But, hey. Not really. I mean, South Carolina's a better team. Uh, South Carolina <clears throat> had the worst. Had yeah, a, South, had a worst, <laughs> South Carolina had a worse draw. Um, the, uh, so, that's, that's, that's bullshit. That is bullshit. They, they had they had a worse draw. You sat here and said it was a bad matchup. They had a, a, a hard matchup. draw. Clemson, Clemson played in a later <laughs> seed that should have probably been a, a 14, 15 seed. South Carolina played an 11th seed that was a, a power five conference champion. And Yeah, that was on the outside looking in going into tournament week. But, hey, that, that doesn't matter. No, I mean – they were good. <clears throat> By the way, the Georgia Bulldogs, good point here, Papa B. 
The Georgia Bulldogs are still playing basketball. <laughs> that happens. They are. Uh, they let's are. In, uh, Justin, what's up, buddy? How you doing, guys? Yeah. Justin, would you like a a an, um, a chef's hat? We should get you one. Uh, is it a t-shirt or? No, it's a hat like this. Uh, sure. There you go. Justin's with it. Why aren't you, Jackpot? I don't think Justin knows what the story behind it. I think he tuned in late. Oh, oh. That's, want, right. that's not you want to support a Clemson player? No. no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, excuse Justin. me. Justin's a man of the people. That's what Lurch wears. Oh, wow. <laughs> Lurch is just that. Oh, wow. I, I good. Thank no, you. you no, to, yeah, there you go. PJ Hall is Lurch. Is PJ Hall Lurch or is Ian Schiffler Lurch? Schiffler's Lurch. Both Lurch. Oh, yeah. No, I didn't call. Oh, yeah. I never called uh, PJ Hall Lurch. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I called the club, uh, Florida coach Lurch. Oh, okay. Maybe I got messed up there. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Hey, uh, hey, Kyle, I got, uh, um, man, I can't believe soccer and Charles are gone, you know? Mm hmm. They, they got there, but this, we don't have enough weapons, you know? No, no, we're, we're good. Uh, we'll be fine. And, uh, uh, coach is recruiting good. So it's all good. Yeah, I'm losing Mr. Johnson not gonna hurt that much. I can see why he won't go back home. You know. Yeah, you know, I I hate I I, I I gotta tell you I think that one hurts a little bit. I mean, he's a good player. He liked to throw up a lot of threes, and he liked to throw them up sometimes at unnecessary times. It seemed like kind of showboating or something. Maybe I don't know, but yeah. I mean, I'm I don't miss. He was a good player. I mean, he supported South. He supported athletics. I mean, he was showing up at the baseball games and stuff, you know, with the Spurs up. Somebody got some money in his pocket, man. That's just all that. That's about. Yeah, I agree with you, that Kelly It's it's, it's, it's very it's 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 un, it's very um disheartening when they're sitting here saying give to that NIL uh, trust fund, uh, the Garnet Trust, or you know, give to this, give to that, and uh, you know you can't keep any of your good players. Because somebody else pays more nil, but it's just it's aggravating. But yeah, it, it is, Kelly Jeff. It's frustrating because yes. I mean, we, I mean, look at high state. Um, they got yeah money. Why Kelly Jeff? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, yeah, that's that's a good point, Justin. I mean, there's there's money there, man. Money's floating around. You never know what's gonna happen. Oh, hey yeah. man, I hope you have a good rest of the week, buddy. Have you a good Easter. Hey guys, probably go. Uh, hey, why? How you think Chris, is Chris gonna go all that fall? <laughs> What's that, button? I'm sorry. Do you think Chris is gonna go all that fall to the East End tournament? I know they ain't switched his team. Well, you can talk. You can <clears> come <throat> at the Greenville Spartanburg Airport real like probably about uh, two o'clock tomorrow morning or no uh, uh, Friday morning, Saturday morning, Justin, and meet them coming in on the plane because they're, they're coming well, home. Next- that well, Jack. Th- this is the same thing where Jackpot said New Mexico State was going to beat their ass, and he talked about how well you South- didn't play New Mexico State. Um, New Mexico it doesn't matter. Put a state in front of it. Sitting here wearing a goofy chef hat, and you don't even know who you played or beat. It could have been Old Mexico. We'd have beat them that day. Doesn't matter. The New Mexico, Old Mexico, whatever. We would have beat them. a whole bunch of old Mexican people. Okay, <laughs> that's how it works. But uh, look. Let me give let me give you this. If Clemson wins this game against Arizona, they will match up with either North Carolina or Alabama, a team, both teams that they beat this season. So for me to sit here and say, I think Arizona's a better team than they are. I I have uh, Arizona picked in my bracket to win, but if Clemson wins, I think they win the next game. Period. Right Clemson, caught, Clemson caught North Carolina <clears throat> sleeping. Clemson, you had had lost the weekend prior to somebody embarrassing. It, I don't Boston remember. College. It a, what? Boston, Co- Boston College in the uh, – are you talking about the week before North Carolina? You'd lost to somebody embarrassing, Georgia I'm pretty State. sure. I thought it was Florida State. Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech, yeah, 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 yeah Georgia yeah. Tech. And then, I mean, you, and they came out there, played like a house of fire – North Carolina, UNC was just thought they were going to sleepwalk through that game, and Clemson got ahead of them like twenty to two or something, and um, you know you barely hung on to win. So I mean, whatever that's I, worth. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They still won, and by the way, they went to Alabama and beat them in their own house. 
something South Carolina tried to do, and they lost by four touchdowns. Probably. Alabama probably four touchdowns. Alabama probably <laughs> wasn't even starting. At least at Nate Oates was probably half asleep. He probably once again thought it was going to be an easy win, and Clemson just snuck up on somebody, snuck in the back door. Oh, yeah. keep on putting that stuff out uh, there, Jack. Just a bunch Jack. of bitches. <laughs> because if Clemson makes the Final Four, everything Jack Potts says here is going to come back to haunt him, and he's going to end up saying things that are uh, stuff like this. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just a little bit perturbed. Of course. Oh, yeah. That would really? be the biggest joke ever. <laughs> Man, that's not happening. So. By yep. the way, I asked, I asked Virtual Jack Potts about uh, how he feels about Michi Johnson leaving. Here's what he said. Oh, fuck. Now we might not win. Sucks. Virtual Jack Potts is on. Yeah, that's that's funny. So, well, yeah. hey guys, I feel you go, man. Uh, take care, well, good luck, what good did, luck to uh, to Coach Tigers. Thank you. Buddy. What did, what did, what did virtual jackpot say about Dabo's latest uh, transfer portal pickup? Oh, uh, he didn't say anything. I don't know shit about fuck. Oh, that's not um, what he said. Sorry. By the way, I wanted to put this out there. Make sure that not only you follow this channel, make sure you subscribe to the Rockabelly 864 channel with the food reviews. Gain some subscribers over the past couple of days. Also, make sure that you uh, subscribe to Carolina Jackpot over on TikTok. Yeah, don't stop. Tremendous growth yesterday on the video that uh, I put out a food review that I did up here at a soul food restaurant in Greenville, South Carolina, Rob. South Carolina, I put that up yesterday yeah. afternoon about <clears throat> two, three o'clock. Right. It, it's insane that as of right now, that that TikTok, the TikTok has over 65,000 views. Yeah, you got, you hit the algorithm right, brother. And the, the freaking, uh, well, people started sharing it. And actually, and I actually got comments on the TikTok, not only from the owner of the place, but also from the owner's daughter, thanking me for uh, giving them a good review, inviting me to come on Sunday when they serve oxtails. I think I'll pass. Um, but uh, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I, I got there the more followers. I think we had 150 followers on TikTok. Before when that video went up, and now it's over three hundred something. So it's like I doubled the amount of followers that I've <clears> gained on TikTok in two years in one video. It's nuts. I'm I'm thinking about and you know we we think out loud on the program here, but uh, during football season, we might take some of your best moments from each game and put them on the old TikToker there and get some folks following that too. It might be interesting. <clears throat> yeah, might be. I. I I think so. So yeah, I think so. Uh, it, it's crazy. You have to have ten thousand followers on YouTube or on TikTok to monetize it. And right now, uh, like three hundred fifty. So I need some more. But uh, it's interesting. I don't know how much money you can actually make <laughs> off that or not. I, I've heard some people actually do. I mean, look, I, I I know that my wife is on the TikTok and she absolutely loves it. She sends me TikToks all the time. So people love the TikTok, man. They really do. They do. They're short little I mean, videos it's... for the most part. And, um, you know, people have short attention spans now. That's how you get the younger crowd involved. You know, I mean, they do watch YouTube, but not, I don't think, as much as that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, um, hashtag TikTok Jack Shack. Very good, Jay. <laughs> so there you go. All right, anyway, but look, I, I, I think that Arizona can uh, has has some uh, some good players. The uh, what was their their best player? I the research I did earlier is uh, Caleb Love, the senior guard, Pac-12 player of the year. He's going to be I love you. Uh, it wasn't Kuznard. <clears throat> no, was not uh, well, Kuznard. Damn. Uh, well, he was on a team that was not very well thought of. Uh, Chase Hunter and this guy should go back and forth with each other. They're not going to have Gerard trying to guard this guy. Um, but Hunter's been playing really well too. And <clears throat> when it comes down to it, it's a couple of things. Can the Clemson backcourt stretch out that uh, Arizona defense a little bit and shoot some threes, knock down some stuff like Chase Hunter has been doing? And 
can PJ Hall stay the fuck out of foul, foul trouble? That guy walks out of the locker room and it's like he's pissed in a ref's hat and they automatically like he's he's got two fouls before three minutes into the game. He's got to be more disciplined if Clemson wants to uh, if, wants to advance. And uh, Lurch, as you call him, he has to uh, do what he does, which is the garbage dog. He, he just goes out there, gets rebounds, puts up shots that are um, at a high high percentage shots. You know, I'm rebounds. Not saying this, I'm not yeah. saying this at all to be offensive whatsoever. I don't know how to how to phrase it any other way, but. When it gets crunch time, kind of, he's kind of a pussy down low. You think Schiffler's a pussy down low? Or he's kind of, he's kind of soft. Which, which he's one? Kinda like, he's kind of like Josh Gray with the game talks. <laughs> you know that that dude should have been dominant. That that big, uh, big uh, the Kimbembe, Matumba Bumba, whatever his name was, a Bumble fuck uh, for <clears throat> for Oregon that played. That dude was cleaning the house down there. Uh, you know, making free throws, you know, making short jumpers. I mean, clearing the damn paint out. That's the kind of game that Josh Gray should be playing for South Carolina, a dominant big man, but he ain't. Are you referring to Schiffler or Hall, sir? I'm, I'm, I, I want to make sure I know which one. Schiffler's the one that's soft. Yeah, okay. Schiffler. All right. Yes, the one with <laughs> the, the, the kind of chunky dude. All right. So I, I can agree to disagree with you. I think, I think that. Okay. I think Hall is softer than Schiffler. Hall's had games where he's he's six eleven. He's got one rebound. How in the hell does that happen? Well, we'll we'll say he's tough just because of his last name. So, um, yeah, he's family. So, I don't care who he plays for. He's your distant cousin. Why couldn't you convince him to go to South Carolina? I I didn't know that he was that dumb when uh, he was young, and then we kind of lost touch when he got into high school. I. I could have tried to steer him the right way, but unfortunately, that ship sailed. So, all right. Well, anyway. yes, he's done as, as good as he possibly could. Um, to be so there, jackpot. You're picking Arizona to win, to win big. The spread seven and a half. They're going to cover. I think oh, they won by. They probably won by ten. I've got. I've got Clemson. I think Clemson will uh, cover the spread. Wouldn't be shocked if they won. Either way, this is one of the best Clemson basketball seasons ever. And then that just tells you where the program has been. I mean, they, they had a run to the Elite. Was it the Elite Eight one year? Yeah, where the, yeah. the UConn player broke their heart. But other than that, it, this is this is the, one of the best Clemson basketball seasons ever. I think that, yeah. Uh, yeah, so they made it the Sweet 16. No, I think they would have made it to the Elite Eight. I th- that game that they lost there, that their heart was broken in, that would be the game y'all are playing tomorrow night. Mm. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. Tate George um, out of the <clears> corner because <throat> that was on like a, it was on like a Thursday night, um, and I, uh, it was a, that's when the, all the tournament games just came on CBS, and um, that was crazy too. I mean, through inbounds pass and like. Uh, a, a full court inbounds <clears throat> pass with a second to go, catches it in the corner, turns around, drains a freaking three. That's so a tough way to lose. Their best team was in 1980 when they went to the Elite Eight, which I was a sparkling one year old when that happened. I think um, Tree Rollins was on that <clears throat> team. Yeah, Tree Roll. I think he was on that team. And let's see here. Uh, what was Tree Rollins there? Yeah, that, that was a Tree Rollins team. But, I mean, Horace Grant played there, Harvey Grant. I mean, they've had some guys that have played there and <clears throat> gone on to be good NBA players. But, hey, it comes back down to this. None of that matters now. They are Eldon there. Eldon Campbell. <clears throat> Eldon Campbell was good, too. Uh, I think that uh, Clemson will uh, cover. Big Barney Ross from the you Kentucky. you remember Grayson Marshall? I do, yeah. He was okay. He was a, he was a little guy. He was an assist man. Hey, I think I think I remember that. But uh, Big Bunny Ross says Clemson will cover and Clemson will win. Way to go! Yeah, Dale Davis, Daddy okay. Over. He's. I think that the bourbon has uh, crept in. By the he, way, he, new he bourbon. Did a bourbon review uh, just before the thing. He liked it a lot. Yeah. So he overindulged. 
So that was the Weller Foolproof. Go and read that bourbon review on robinkaleshow.com. <clears throat> Big Barney Ross does bourbon reviews for us every now and then. Be sure to check those out. Um, <clears throat> Mike Bridges says it'll be a rematch. Caleb Love versus the former team in uh, in uh, North Carolina. We'll see on that. <clears throat> At this juncture, we shall see. That's where you're at right now. All Hoghead the games. Said, Hoghead said he watched Free Rollins play UT in Knoxville. Would that have been in the Stokely Athletic Center, sir? So I know my, I know my arenas. I know my history. <clears throat> that was before Thompson Bowling. Welcome into the program, sir. What you got? Well, I just wanted to apologize to Jackpot for um, – my bears disappointing performance. <clears throat> oh, you know, I mean, you can't go out there and make the shots for them. Well, this is true, but, uh, it, well, it really wasn't the offense. It was, you know, it's been basically the defense and the foul shooting, especially mm-hmm. toward the end of the game. Yeah. Uh, because they had gotten it to within, and I didn't see a bit of that game. I didn't see a bit of it. I was working, but I know they got it to within two, and uh, what y'all missed? Two foul shots, two free th- back-to-back free throws. Did somebody miss back-to-back free throw shots? Yeah, they didn't. They didn't shoot the ball very well at all. Like they, it's like they didn't. They just fucking weren't making shots. It's so crazy. could you say it's more of what Baylor didn't do versus Fuck what Thompson off. did do? Fuck off with all that. Well, that just- uh, it sounds like their shots weren't dropping. So I mean, if they couldn't make shots. Um, you know, what I mean, is Justin so, doing out there? Yeah, I, I had opportunities, you. it sounds like. <clears throat> yeah, I, I, how three. about this? They lined up against each other on a neutral floor. Clemson was an underdog and they kicked that ass. That's what happened. Okay, well, that's just, what uh, Vegas just happened. Sometimes Vegas is wrong, Vegas happened to be wrong on that one. Baylor's is not a very good team. Honestly, you're pretty much – you're probably right. I'm I mean, sorry. I, yeah, I'm not insulting you or your well, team. I, it's, it's I agree. Clemson I, didn't really do anything. It's probably like kind of like beating Notre Dame or something. Oh, well, I mean, they can't do that. I'm sorry. They can't beat – it's like beating Wake Jackpot. Forest. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. They can't beat them. Um, Virtual Jackpot has his own – beat Gamecocks. They can beat them. them. I don't ever want to see the motherfucker again. I love Virtual Jackpot. <laughs> And I know that um, I know that Rob's gonna miss seeing <clears throat> Bruiser Bear doing his song and dance on the uh, on the uh, basketball floor. Brother, your Bruiser Bear looks like he was a reject from Chuck E. Cheese. He went up there to be one of their uh, one of their dancers or whatever on stage, and they're like, "Nah, that that, that, that we know that guy's here for. He's here for kids' feet. Get him the fuck out of here." That's what your mask looks like, sir. Uh, stop <clears throat> bruiser bear. You have a real bear. You have real <laughs> bears. In the world. Them. <laughs> you, you, bring them. This thing. you bring this thing with you out, and you actually have real bears as a mascot. <laughs> you have grown off PETA for years, and you won't take your real fucking bears that are in the middle of campus where everybody can go see them. Yeah. You won't box them up and take them to a damn game. I just heard an interview with Shane Beamer where they they get extra shitters to take to certain uh, SEC places. They can have extra toilets, but you can't pack up those bears and go to a damn the NCAA Wait, tournament. Huh? Sir. That's huh? the problem. I, don't Shane, know, I guess uh, Shane Baylor. Beamer did an interview with uh, with Josh Pate, and he was talking about at, I think it was one or two SEC facilities they don't have, but like one toilet for the team. So they were advised to – he had to get with game day staff or whatever and have extra shitters on site for the team, according to Shane Beamer's like interview. Porter Johns? That's what they call Porter Johns, yeah. you got to be kidding me. Brother, you it's – got to be uh, shitting me. Yeah, I mean <laughs> – Why did that I'm, come up in an interview with <clears> – Josh Pate was asking him about – they got into it because of the stuff. He's not really into it. They were – he kind of talked to him a little bit. They were talking about the different SEC arenas or different SEC stadiums, et cetera. They mentioned the stuff with Mizzou, and then they talked about um, 
you know, different facilities or whatever. And that's what Shane Beamer said. It's in the uh, <clears throat> the latest Josh Pate podcast. I, I, saw, to I mean, I listened to some of that. He, um, you know, he actually talked one well, this one. I mean, he talked like he had some sense. Uh, Shane Beamer did. I think when he has time to, to, to plan something out and he knows what questions that they're going to ask, I think he can can put a logical, you know, interview or what have you diatribe together. Uh, but, you know, when it's after a game, that that's when he, he doesn't know how to handle himself and he, he lets the feels get in the way. Well, I can agree with that, but he really did talk about booking Porter Johns at, at an SEC facility. That's, that's tremendous. <clears throat> so I, I mean, I know it's not, and, and this is true too. There's been at least more than one occasion where they filled up Williams Bryce stadium and forgot to turn on the plumbing. That's oh, real. That well, is. I wonder. If, I wonder if other SEC coaches would would um like uh they would confirm this point. Like you, you think they could like you think Josh Payne could interview Kirby Smart? Does it I mean is it true Kirby? Do you mean you have to take shitters to Mizzou? <laughs> <laughs> Don't have enough places uh, to put your ass and take a dump if two guys got to take a shit at the same time. I I don't know. Uh... I, I, he may not have been taught. I mean, he didn't exactly put it out there, <clears throat> but the vibe I got was that it was Mizzou. So well, before before he was the coach there, uh, I know, or what, what, when he became coach at Mississippi State, I know Mike Leach had talked about they they had brought a team there back in the day. Maybe it was when he was coach at Texas Tech or or an assistant somewhere, I'm really not sure, but they had come to Mississippi State, and he likened their visitors' locker room facilities and, like, the shutter and the shower and all that to, like, a a, a like a 1A high school or something. Yeah, I mean, look, not, not, all, not all facilities are top-notch. I mean, there are some places that are behind in funding, and or they just have people that don't care. I mean, it could be that, too, but, you know. <clears throat> Who's who, what? What did you just flash up there or something from Facebook? What was that? Uh, something. Beth, Beth says he frequently criticizes other facilities. I'm sure he. I'm sure he <clears throat> criticizes y'all's dump, Beth. <laughs> now, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I hadn't been there in a long time, but last time I was there, it was, you know, <clears throat> it was. I, you it know was what? I, bad too. It's kind of like one of the county fair. Would you? Would you? If I could I set up, if, I didn't know if I was at Clemson's Memorial Stadium, Death Valley, or the Greenville Pickens Speedway. If I if I could set it up, would you? Would you go to a Clemson game with me? What uh, a football a Clemson, game? Yeah, a football game. Uh, probably not, sir. I mean, I would. I appreciate the gesture, <laughs> but I mean. <clears throat> I, I, they normally Look, play I, when the game talks do, and I, I like to live stream yeah, the game. If, if, if the situation was correct, and we could set if, it up for the game talks weren't playing, that, if it was one of the game talks, everybody gets two off weeks this year. So the uh, the odds are that one of them could set up. Yeah, you'd have to look at the schedule, maybe. But if I if I could get it, would you go? Would you tailgate and uh, and hang out with with the Clemson faithful? Why not? I could probably make that happen. Now, now here's another question: Would you wear tater collars? No. Or would you wear the other team collars? No. No. I'd, yeah, I would. Whoever they're playing, I mean, I'd, I'd order some of their shit on Amazon, some of their swag, like some, like some hokey swag or some pit swag. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, made Louisville. Oh, okay. Now, um, hey, uh, Rob, uh, you know, we have Bruiser there. We actually have a female um, version of Bruiser as well. There's a <coughs> look up Marigold the bear. I, I, I don't I don't know if I want that in my browser history, sir. Marigold the bear? Yeah, Marigold Baylor mascot. So we have a male mascot, which is Bruiser, one you see, and then there's the female mascot, which is Marigold. Who who's got male and female mascots? Florida <laughs> does. NC State does. Florida uh, does. Yeah, Florida does. They have a girl gator. Yep. 
What, what did she have like a, a bow on one of her? Um, Honestly, like I think or something. something. What? No, I think it's um, she's got like lipstick. I know that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know that. I mean, the NC State's the one. I know <clears throat> the girl. I think. Uh, All right, I, well, jackpot, jackpot. Yes. The for, so. Clemson plays Stanford on September the 28th. The Gamecocks are off on the 28th. You could rock some Stanford gear and make people think you're a smart kid. Oh, wow. <clears throat> I'm serious. You can go up there in your Stanford gear, and everybody's going to be over the top nice to you anyway because they love you. But Look into they'll it. Really, they'll really be over the top nice to you if they think, oh, they're the new guys coming from into the ACC. So. <laughs> Yay, Stanford! No, I'm serious. <clears throat> I bet, I bet we could get some. Uh, they'll give you some of the old good old. We, Danny Ford might give you some of his hemp up there, as just a, a gesture. Um, that might happen. You know what I could actually do, Rob? <clears throat> what? Yeah, I could actually. Do, <laughs> how much would you? How much would you give me if I dressed up like the fucking tree? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> jackpot! Jackpot has a jackpot dressed up like the tree. My oh. fat ass would look like a Japanese maple. Yeah, it, it just occurred to me. I think believe Short it or not, squatty for the red a top tree as well. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't just say that. Oh my god, Jackpot. What? <laughs> Should you never mind. We won't repeat that. Mm, carry on, carry on. What that Stanford has a female mascot as well? No. The female no. tree. No. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I heard what Jackpot said earlier. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Well, there you go with that. All right. Well, sorry that uh, wear my in. Harbor Day costume. That would be awesome. Sorry, sorry. I mean, I'm really sorry that that happened. Well, no, I'm not. What happened? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's congratulations. You played yourself. Yeah, it sucks to be you guys. As my daughter would say, it sucks to suck. Well, it, it really does. Um, now I have to look forward to football season, which is 150 days away, because my yeah. baseball team would lose to the community college here in town. Good night. No, they would. South Carolina's yeah. baseball team tried to lose to the community college yesterday. That was a weird game. It's like, oh, we score two touchdowns. Yeah, I mean, what a weird – But, weird. I mean, uh, you know, unlike Clemson, I mean, they – what decided to play in the rain? Uh, they, you know, didn't <clears throat> act like a bunch of pansies because they were scared they'd lose the Presbyterian. They played that game and uh, we beat them. Clemson, on the other hand, was scared of Coastal Carolina because they actually <clears throat> had some Omaha hardware and uh, canceled the game. Sure. Granted, it did rain up here pretty hard, but they could have at least, you know, tried to play the game. They, they canceled that shit at like 10 a.m. I'm like, you, I mean, they, they canceled it before morning coffee was done. Aren't you kidding me? Come on. Thank you, Baylor man. Sorry that uh, your team sucks, sir. I'm sorry, too. Have a good night, buddy. Yes, sir. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Anyway, any other games you like, Jackpot, that you were uh, maybe on the old kale pick them tomorrow? Well, right now, um, I placed a bet on VCU to cover the spread against Utah because they've been covering the spread pretty well, pretty well uh, this year. Right now, the fuckers are down by eight, though, on the road. So I may have picked the wrong one there. And I meant to get my bet <laughs> in for the Seton Hall UNLV game and um, roll with Seton Hall. But I got it in there too late. I knew that was a, a lot for Seton Hall. It, yeah, nobody from UNLV is going to get excited to fly all the way across country to Newark, New Jersey, play in a 1,500-seat band box against damn Seton Hall. They got blown out. 
What do you yeah, think about Seton, Seton Hall? Their home, Seton Hall's home arena is the um, Prudential Center in Newark, where the New Jersey Devils play <clears> the <throat> hockey team. But I, I get the, in the NIT, they played their last two home games in this little gym that's on their campus. So I guess that any game that's outside the realm of the actual schedule, they can't be in the Prudential Center, I guess, because maybe the De the Red Devils need to use it. I don't know. Yeah, I I don't uh, know how that works either. Um, <clears throat> Jackpot, I was going to ask you, what do you, what do you think about these teams opting out of the NIT? I, I can remember a time where going was great, but now it's like, yeah, we're – I think with the transfer portal, like um, what like St. Bonaventure actually put out a press statement saying, <clears throat> look, you know, we didn't know if we'd have a team. Like, you know, they probably knew some guys were leaving and they felt that if they did put a team out there, it would be like basically their second string. I mean, we're at a point now where it's like, what the hell, right? I mean, you don't, so don't know. So St. Bonaventure play. didn't want to play in the NIT <clears throat> because the – that kids would look, they thought kids were going to hit the transfer portal. Yeah, they didn't know the, the statement was something to the effect of roster unclarity is the term that they use, like which to me says it's like we don't know who the hell we still got, is kind of the what it boils down to. Um, have you ever have you ever been to Newark, New Jersey before? Uh, no, okay. Is that is that is that your statement for that? Yeah, yeah, it's kind of a, it's it's different. Harry Legg says uh, wear body armor in Newark, New Jersey. You know, it's a, uh, it's right on the on the side of the river from New York City, and it's like there's some really pretty architecture there, like some you know, it's a, it's an old American city. I mean, there's really really old churches and and these other old buildings, but I mean, the streets and stuff are just full of trash. And so, I mean, they don't take care of their city. Yeah. yeah. They don't have any pride in it. It's kind of sad. Well, so, but I mean, are we at the point now where the NIT might be going away? I mean, who gives a shit? That other, not... Did that other shitty tournament, did I still play <laughs> it? Yeah, the CBI tournament. That's going on. They got games tonight. Oh, who, who's in that? Uh, hold on. I'll tell you. Let's see who's in the CBI tournament. I, I noticed that when I was looking at stuff earlier. <clears throat> Give me the CBI tournament bracket. Here we go. Where is it? Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Here's the CBI tournament bracket. Oh, that's the NIT bracket. That's not the CBI. Damn it. Okay, here we go. CBI bracket, your number one overall seed. It looks like there's the NIT. Okay, C is is high point. Here are the CBI teams. <clears throat> the two seed is UC San Diego. Your three seed is Seattle. Like uh, <laughs> exactly, <clears throat> Seattle. Four is Arkansas State. Five yeah, would be you got some Butch Jones. Yay. You have to pay me to watch that shit. Hey, Montana was playing Presbyterian, sir. So the Blue Hose were in that uh, tournament. I don't know how they, they played oh, Lord, on. Get your popcorn out. Was, well, you know, are you disrespecting the Blue Hose, sir? Just saying. Did, I wonder did if they, they have a that. losing record? <clears throat> Hold on. Let's look that up now. I'm, I'm trying to see. Uh, let's see. Or check the scores on that. Did Presbyterian win? I don't know. We're going to find out right now. Let's see here. Scores for the CBI tournament. Let's see if they even list them. Oh, yeah, they do list them on ESPN here. On the 24th, on Selection Sunday, Presbyterian played the Grizz from Montana. Presbyterian was 14 and 19, but they went up. They were actually in Daytona Beach. I guess it's all in one spot. They went down there and lost by three to Montana. They would have played in the Ocean Center. Yeah, that's, that's probably where it is. Down is there, the where, uh, down there yeah. where Hulk Hogan, Scott Hall, and Kevin Nash form the NWO. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, that's, that is right. That is right. That's where they had Bash at the Beach. I didn't think about that. 
Yep. So yep. there's that. That's where right, uh, well, that's where Chris Benoit uh, retired. Uh, Kevin Sullivan. Yeah. Uh, Jerry says the entire CBI tournament is a kale hall shitter. <laughs> that's that's what we should call the CBI tournament the the kale hall shitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Very good, sir. Anyway, so yeah, they're still playing the CBI tournament, but you know, yeehaw, I guess. All right, so no other games you're looking at, Do You want to pick the pick the Sweet 16 games really quick before we get out of here? Well, I mean, I already have mine set, but yeah, r- rattle them off to me, and I'll <laughs> tell you who's going to win them. All right, so Thursday, the first one. Oh, wait a minute, where is it? Wednesday. What the hell? Mm, there we go. <clears throat> So you're already picking Arizona. Uh, you got UConn and San Diego State. I got UConn winning big. UConn, yep. Illinois and Iowa State. Um, Illinois is a pretty good team, but I think Iowa State. I think Iowa State, State is going to win that. Um, Illinois, I, I watched them in the Big Ten championship game. They really didn't impress me all that much. So, North Carolina and Alabama. Who you got? Got to go with Carolina on that one. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take North Carolina as well. Uh, Creighton and Tennessee. <clears throat> I, I I gotta go with the balls, man. I I really do. I think they're just better. I mean, uh, better Purdue, conference for sure. Purdue and Gonzaga. Yeah, I'm going with the Zags. I kind of like the Zach too, because they got that seven footer that can give that UD kid some problems. Purdue, and the yeah, Purdue, Purdue, problems. Purdue shits the bed in the tournament every year. I know they do. Not the Kentucky, well, not not quite as bad as Kentucky. But. The Cinderella story: NC State, who beat Texas Tech, won five straight games in the NCAA tournament, and then they beat the Oakland possible Bobcats to advance to play Marquette. I'm going to take Marquette here. I'm, I'm taking NC State. I had them. Go, I had them making the Elite Eight. If they if they make the Elite Eight, that's going to help out uh, your buddy Carolina Jackpot in our uh, our challenge there tremendously. Um, Houston and Duke is the other matchup up top there. I've got. Uh, I'm going to take Houston to win. I'm going to take Houston, but man, I mean Duke impressed me the way they blew out. Uh, James Madison, I had the Dukes picked for the upset there. The Dukes over Duke. Um, but the Dukes got the Duke kicked out of them by Duke. So you would have, in your matchup, you've got Houston and NC State. I'm taking, and I've got Marquette. Houston and NC State. Houston and NC State, a re- rematch of the 1983 National Championship <laughs> game with Jimmy V. Uh, yeah. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, – I'm going to take Houston to win that one. So, <clears throat> regardless. Uh, and then we both got like Gonzaga there, but Gonzaga and Tennessee, which way are you rolling there? They're not playing, are they? No. Oh, oh, if oh, they oh you're talking about that. that that'll be before we – goes- yeah, before we go back on the air, that I'm game was already- Zags. I got them making the final four. <clears throat> okay. I I um you know, I, I kinda I kinda think Tennessee's gonna win it. I don't know why. Fuck Tennessee. I, I think Gonzaga will beat them. All right, so we that mean we got you know, Arizona. I'm dying to say that too, by the way. So if you were. Arizona and North Carolina, which way are you rolling there? I'm gonna go with the tar holes. I gotta go with tar heels too. Okay, and then up top, uh, we got Iowa State and UConn. I've got UConn. Yeah, UConn. <laughs> Although I'm not, I'm not 100 sold on North Carolina in that other game. I mean, they, they they're known, they know to shit the bed too. But yeah. I think they at tournament time they seem to kind of they they they're kind of like the anti-Kentucky. <clears throat> so. Here's my thing with North Carolina. Armando Baycott is their best player. He's been there so long. He's got an NIL deal with TurboTax. 
Seriously, he's older than fuck. He's got to be 30. And he's still out there playing. With turbo tax. Yeah, that's what one, one of his NIL deals is turbo tax. How's and that make him old? He's old as fuck. I mean, okay, <laughs> well, you need to say something like he's so old he's got an NIL deal with Metamucil. Uh, he's in a commercial with Mac Brown. <laughs> God damn it. All right, there you go. There's our picks. Uh, I, I, Josh Pate put up something um, on Twitter. His little, he did a little interview with uh, Matt Brown, kind of like the one he did with Shane Beamer. And no sooner than he had posted it, I mean, it was seconds after he posted it because I just happened to see it pop up on the notifications. I, I did. I commented on that in quotes. I said, "Sponsored by Metal Musil." Um, and since he had just put it up, I was, I was hoping he would comment something back on it, but he didn't. That's funny. I, I've tried to get him to comment shit back before. What the fuck's up with him? Why is he wearing a black t-shirt now and stuff? Why is he switched up because, from the solid white? Because maybe he spilled some did. Chef Boy RD on it. Maybe. Or he's he's gotten that big contract now and he's like, I can afford a black t-shirt. Maybe that too. He may so, have uh, money change a man. Yeah. Would money change you, Jackpot? If you like hit the uh, the what the one point one billion, would you quit the podcast? You still do the podcast, right? Of course. Why would I do that? I don't know. You just sit there. I, like I would expect you to get a, a chair crafted out of hundreds, and you just sit in the chair of hundreds. I would, but I mean, I'm not in the podcast to make money. I meant to entertain people and have fun. Well, that, that's then what that's all about. so. Would you? You just that would put you full time with YouTube, then, right? You like, you know, that, that that would be the way to go. Oh, absolutely, I'd probably go around doing nothing but touring restaurants. I'm think I'm really, really thinking on Friday. I'm I'm thinking about going down, and I probably won't post it until next week because I don't want to. Take you know, use up all my material. I'm, I'm seriously. If the weather's not great here, now if it's really if it's nice and sunny on Friday when I'm off, I'll probably stay home because I do need to cut grass and get some stuff done. If it's a least bit cloudy, eh, maybe a twinge of rain, maybe uh, not looking so great outside. I'm telling you, I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna make that drive. I'm gonna leave probably about eight in the morning. Make that three-hour drive to Scranton, South Carolina, so I can get me some of that good old schoolhouse barbecue and review that place and then be back home by, you know, 2, 3. Yeah. It opens at 11 a.m. That's the best time to go to these places when it's not that busy yet and they got fresh food out. Devin says Jackpot would buy a championship for the Gamecocks. Would you be like a T Boone Pickens and be like a big donor to the Gamecocks? Would you have like your own suite up there at uh, at the shithole? Absolutely. I don't, sh- I don't know what shithole you refer to, but the yeah, place at, play football, the Williams shithole, Bryce Stadium. Like, yes. Uh, have you ever been? Do you have you ever been to Scranton, South Carolina? Do you know really where that's at? Mm, Looks like it's I, near Florence. I, I mean, I, I've probably passed through Scranton, but I don't know where. I mean, Scranton. You know where Scranton, South Carolina is, honey? She's never heard of it, so I don't know where it is. <laughs> I think it's near Florence. <laughs> think so? I, I, I now, think now, I, now I gotta look it up. All right, Scranton. Let's see where Scranton, South Carolina is. Look at this buddy over here. Scranton is a town in Florence, South Carolina. The population was 932. At the 2010 census, so That's I mean, bigger it, than I thought it was. <clears throat> it's right in the heart, yeah. And Schoolhouse Barbecue is right next to Car, right up the street from Cartoni's Pizza. They have a pizza place <clears throat> called Cartoni's in Scranton, South Carolina. Yes, sir. Cartoni. I'm I'm looking at it right now. I mean, uh, they're kind of bougie down there. I know, right? Scranton. I mean, you're going. I, I I thought you were only going to. Uh, to go to like local places, right? That was going to be the thing, right? That's it. That's what I'm trying to do. The yeah. Joe Gashi says that Ziggy's a movie dog. Said he's a good looking doggy. Thank you. Uh, he appreciates got, that. So Jackpot's tour, he could go to, as you see here, Schoolhouse Barbecue, where they got like, looks like there's there's a nice couple mm-hmm. standing on the steps there. And you got Cartoni's Pizza, which is, you know, okay. 
And then you could go to Bass Automotive or maybe the Scranton Baseball Field. There you go. <clears throat> so, yeah, there. If you go down there for that. Gamecock Chuck said, I know he said that he'd been there before. Um, <clears throat> Brock Lee's been to, heard of Scranton, PA because of that awful show, The Office. Yeah, Scranton, PA is about 45 minutes from where we vacation at every year. Scranton, they they had a, a baseball team there, um, the Scranton Wilkesbury, um, used to be the Phillies AAA affiliate, but they they moved the team to Allentown. You know that they get they're giving all these minor league baseball teams like these really crazy names now. You know, like the, the Huntsville's, the Rocket City Trash Pandas. Which is a, I, a, I think my, my favorite is the Akron with the rubber ducks. Yeah, the, <laughs> the well Fayetteville, uh, Fayetteville has a, uh, but they're they're called the woodpeckers. Um, so and then Kent, Kentston, North Carolina, which is in the far eastern part of North Carolina, they used to be called like the Kentston Indians or something. <clears throat> now they're called the Down East Wood Ducks. Anyway. The AAA team up there now, they moved it to Allentown, Pennsylvania, which is in the Lehigh Valley area. Pennsylvania, it's called, it's, they're like called the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. I know that the Fireflies, the Columbia Fireflies this season, are they're doing a couple of nights where they're going to call themselves the Columbia Grits. Like Grits? grits. Yeah. Like, uh, you got to look at this. Hold on. I, I'll show you the jersey for it because I was like – uh, I looked at it and I was like, that's kind of weird. But so they're going to parade these young men out there. <clears throat> Fireflies, grits. Let's see if I can pull this up really quick here. I got the press release on it the other day. <clears throat> yeah. So let's see here. Let's see if we can pull this out here. All right. So there. Let me share this with everybody. So they're, they're calling themselves the Grits for a couple of games this year. And I, I know it's for revenue, et cetera, but there's their mascot. Um, what is his name? Glowy? I know. I can't remember what his name is. Glowy or whatever the hell his name is. Mason. What Mason. Mason the Firefly. But they're going to have Grits. <clears throat> and they're, he's going to be running around in his Grits jersey with – I mean, it looks like it's grits with ketchup, which is the jackpot specialty. To me. What the fuck? Okay, well, <laughs> that that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, so they're, they're the Montgomery <laughs> Montgomery Biscuits. That's another team. Yeah, that's what they're gonna have. The new grits logo. There's the logo jackpot. It's a bowl of grits swinging a spoon. Oh wow! What the fuck is going on now? I mean, why can't we just go back to having normal? Shit, that's interesting, though. Well, you remember, like, I, when, I remember when I was a kid, like, the Columbia, they were the bomber, the Capital City Bomber. The, 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 yeah, I remember that. They had the, <laughs> they were Capital City Bombers, and then they moved the team. They actually moved that team. The Greenville had the Greenville Braves, and they played in the old municipal stadium, uh, which, when it was open in 1984, it was a, a great stadium for minor league baseball, but they didn't take care of it. And... They moved the uh, they, they the Braves left and went to uh, Mississippi. I think they were called the Biloxi, Mississippi. I think they moved yeah. there, and um, so we didn't have a team. But then they moved right. They moved the Columbia, the Capital City Bombers moved in the next season, and they called them the the Greenville Bombers for one year, and then we <laughs> built that new. Um, Floor Field Stadium down, and they they renamed them the Greenville Drive. But I actually, uh, my son uh, Jack Pop Jr. We went in like it was I think like 2005 was the only season that the Greenville Bombers played in the old Municipal Stadium, and we actually got he actually got a little bat uh, with the Greenville Bombers, and that's that I still have it put up somewhere. That was the only year that team existed. That's when, like, the municipal stadium, like, was falling apart. Like, there was grass growing in between the cracks and the bleachers, and place just looked like ass. I do remember the Blowfish. I played in the media softball game for the for the Blowfish, and that was. Fun. I saw so many uh, 
future major league stars <clears throat> play at uh, that Greenville Municipal Stadium over the years. Uh, not just for the Braves. I mean, you know, I saw him Jose Canseco, Mark McGuire, uh, freaking uh, Bo Jackson. Um, yeah. I remember going uh, when Michael Jordan played there <clears throat> for the Birmingham Barons. I mean, there were like, seriously, that place held like 7,000 people, but there was standing room that you could, they packed like 12,000 people there. That was in 1994. Seriously, <clears> like 12,000 people in that uh, stadium, like 5,000 of them were standing. It's because Michael Jordan got the bat one time. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. Craziness. Well, Major League Baseball opens up. Uh, the Braves supposedly canceled opening day tomorrow. I, I, it's what I heard because of the weather. I mean, uh, I don't know. Who are they <laughs> supposed to play? Uh, hold on. Let's bring that up. I didn't know. Uh, I mean, whoever it is, doom on them. By the way, it's it's great to see the Dodgers spend hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars to not win the pennant. So there's that. Um. Yeah, the season reopener is scheduled to Friday at 3.05. Thursday's game against the fucking Phillies has been rescheduled to Friday. Fuck, <clears throat> Fuck the Braves or the Phillies? Uh, the Phillies are... Brave. I mean, the fr the Phillies, I mean, excuse me. Exactly. Yeah, right. no. Uh, Br Jeez, Bryce, Harper, Bryce Harper. I hope, that, I hope that he gets the crabs and his arms are too short to scratch. I cannot stand that fool. I didn't. I didn't like him either. Um, yeah. At least we agree on that. We have a lot in common. We yeah, agree. I remember uh, being at a Braves game, probably about 2010 ish, 11, uh, a, a game early in the season, um, and we sat in the outfield bleachers. Us with my son, that the old Turner Field, and they were heckling. Not us. There was a group of drunk college age dudes. Not far down below us, there were heckling Dexter Fowler, who was from the Atlanta area, played the outfield for uh, Colorado Rockies, and him uh, turned around and giving him the finger. <laughs> That's funny. Bradley with a good comment here. He says, we should come to Charleston and do a barbecue tour. Lewis's, Palmyra, Palmyra Kings, and home team for wings. Well, home team is a franchise, so that is obviously out but <clears throat> the rest of them would make sense yeah why not so yeah. jackpot's gonna tour the state and do the whole do all that uh, Sheely's right. barbecue in the baseball <laughs> leesville area is, is good i've been there once <clears throat> um you like the mustard or the tomato sauce the mustard. And it was weird, too, the way that, that was back when I worked for Roses, um, and I was helping out at the store in Batesburg, Leesville, and I was actually staying, um, I, I worked there for three days, I was actually staying at a hotel in Aiken, but I just ate there one evening after we got done working, I, it's like five o'clock, I went there, and, and the way they seat you, it was, just, it was weird, I mean, they don't have, it didn't have a lot of like, tables per se, it was like a bunch of long tables like you're sitting at a school lunchroom and I, like i'm sitting beside uh this old couple like i'm like okay hey how y'all doing <laughs> i'm weird yeah well <clears throat> we'll see how that works out but um <clears throat> i'm enjoying the the uh the 864 stuff that uh the rockabilly 864 stuff that jackpot puts out uh especially check him out on tiktok, TikTok uh, he also stop. uh jackpot's back and forth with people on uh in the comments section for these videos and on Twitter at Hall underscore Kale is uh is pretty funny too. So check him out there. I'm at Rob Sounds Good. I just like to slap everybody around. So <laughs> I had some random idiot comment on the um video from the Soul Food place that uh I guess anyone can do a YouTube channel now. You don't have to have talent to do it. I guess I should start one. <clears throat> and I just commented back. I said, yeah. I said, um, you can start by doing a video of the backside of my nuts, jerk. And I put the <laughs> little clown emoji. I pinned it. So if anybody wants to go back over that channel, you can feel free to comment on that and clown uh, the dumbass. 
who uh, felt the need to throw a shot at me. I'm sure we should visit his channel. I'm sure it's really, really good content. Yeah, I um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, the Tusa 93 said, if you fell out of Chattanooga Lookout Stadium, you would land on I-24. Yeah, I saw that uh, a couple, whenever, what, a year and a half ago when we went to Nashville for the Vanderbilt game. <clears throat> Um, I thought they were going like, to re- build a new one or something. Yeah. There. <clears throat> well, anyway, follow the Jack Potter. It was a Friday evening. Lots of, lots of traffic in Chattanooga on the interstate, too. It took like an hour to get through there. I was, I was kind of surprised at that. I didn't think that. You didn't think it would be that way? Reminded me of, no, it didn't. I mean, it reminded me of like trying to go through Greenville on the interstate around rush hour time. Just, too much, like, too much traffic and not enough road, you know? Yep. <clears throat> Makes sense. <laughs> All right. Well, Jackpot, it's been a good show, man. Uh, enjoy the games, and uh, we'll talk to you what guys is later on. What is it? See you guys later. What is it? Mm-hmm.